Welcome back to another badass video from Network Engineer Academy. And by the way, this is video number four. So if you haven't watched video number one, two, and three, make sure you go back and watch those videos. Because you know, I'm, going, I'm walking you through this process in order on how to build this network. So make sure you watch the previous videos. Now, on this video, this is exactly what I'm gonna walk you through, okay? We're gonna get the port where the, connect, where the computers are connected to, we're gonna get the port and we're gonna move it. And we're gonna place it on the proper VLAN. Because that's exactly what we did on the previous video. We created two VLANs. We created VLAN 10 and we created VLAN 20. That's because the CEO came to us and he was like, hey Jorge, I do not want these two computers to communicate with that computer. And one of our solutions was, okay, pues, let's create some VLANs. Okay, and let's put the two IT uh, computers on one VLAN and the HR computer in another VLAN, okay? And that will resolve that issue, okay? So that's exactly what I'm gonna walk you through and how to move the port where that computer is connected to, to the proper VLAN, okay? So let me walk you through that process. So I'm gonna go here and switch to, okay? And this is what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna go on privilege mode and I'm gonna do this. Show VLAN, just to make sure that I have those two VLANs and they're there, okay? Now, I know for a fact, you can check, but I know that this computer, okay? This computer is connected and this switch using port one, okay? Using port one. So I'm gonna go on that port. And for me to do that, I need to go to global configuration first. And then I'm gonna do interface F01. F, that means it's a fast ethernet port. We have fast ethernet ports and you know, right? Probably you know this. They, their, their speed is 100 megabits per second. Now, on the routers that we're gonna work with on the next videos, they're gonna be that G, and that's for gigabit, okay? Gigabit, uh, and that's a, a, a thousand megabits per second, okay? So that's basically what the F stands for. So what I'm doing right now, I'm going to the port, port one, and I'm gonna tell the port, look, I need you to move from VLAN one to VLAN 10, because remember, VLAN 10, that's for the IT engineers. So I'm gonna click enter and bam, you see now I'm in global interface configuration mode. So right here, I'm gonna do this switch port and you know, you don't have to be that genius. Like, oh my God, Jorge, do I need to know all of these commands? It's too many, like, no. You know, you just need to know, okay, what's my objective? You know, what's my goal? And you know, have an idea about it. And probably you're gonna be like, okay, you know, I, I remember, but not exactly. And that's fine because let me tell you, if I only remember that switch port, it's gonna allow me to do a few things on ports and switches, I only have to do the question mark. And it's gonna basically tell me what options do I have. And then I can take a look at it and be like, oh, now I remember, you know, what I, um, the, the command that I wanted to use. So in this case, remember, we want to move the port one, on VLAN 10. So the one that we need to do is, uh, let's see, to, 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 to access, okay, access. So I'm gonna select switch port, access. And I don't remember, okay, I have no idea, I don't remember, so question mark. Oh, now I remember that was, I had to do the VLAN, but I don't remember what's after VLAN. So let me do a question mark. Oh, okay, now the number, okay, now the number. Oh, yes, I want to put this port on VLAN 10. So I'm gonna obviously put 10, the number 10. And then I'm gonna click enter. And if I don't get any error message, I'm good. I did something right, okay? And that's exactly what I did so far. So let's take a look. So from here, I'm gonna do, do show VLAN. Bam. And now you can see the VLAN 10 has port one. So yes, we were able to accomplish that. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is this. Okay, let me save that configuration. So I'm gonna do, do WR, that's one way for you to save it. And then I'm gonna go to this computer, okay, PC7, that's the one that we move. I'm gonna go to the command prompt. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to ping 
this computer. So before I was able to communicate with PC with PC6. Okay. Now let's see. I cannot. Why? Because now this computer belongs on VLAN 10. And remember, the other PC, PC6, is still on VLAN 1. And what happens? You know, remember, you know, each VLAN, their own network. And for them to communicate, what needs to happen is some type of routing. And we don't have routing up to this point so far. Okay? So we're like, okay, you know what's going on? What's going on? Oh, we need to move, right? The other PC to P uh, VLAN. Uh, 10. So let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. And that's going to work. So let's go. So I'm going to go now on this switch and I need to make sure that this computer, right, the port where that computer is connected to, it goes to VLAN 10. And I know, once again, you can check, but I know that this computer is connected on the same port on this switch, on port 1. So I'm going to go a little bit faster because I already walked you through that process. So it's going to be enabled. Config T. Just double checking. I'm going to double check. Do show VLAN. I do have the VLAN created, but I do have, I do not have any ports. Okay. So I'm going to do interface. And once again, port one, enter. Now I'm, I'm on global configuration interface mode. So now I remember that was switch port, access, VLAN, and then the VLAN number. Well, I want this port to be on VLAN 10. Bam, I don't have any error message, so it seems that it went true, that I did something right again. So what I'm going to do now is the same command, Sh do show VLAN, just to make sure it's there. And let's see, it's there. So we are good. So up to this point, right, now it's for you to think, okay, now both computers belong on VLAN 10. So yeah, it makes sense. They're going to be able to communicate now because let me tell you, Jorge, before those two computers were on VLAN 1 and that was no issue. They were able to communicate. So now that, that those two computers are in the same VLAN, yes, they're going to be able to communicate. So let's take a look. Okay. So I'm going to go here. Any either computer, it doesn't matter. But let me go on computer 7 and I'm going to do that command prompt and I'm going to do a uh, ping. And let's see if something happens. Bam. And no success. Okay, you see, we're still getting that request timeout. So the, here's my question, okay? And this is something that I know some of you, you're like, Jorge, you forgot to do this. And some of you, you're like, okay, what's going on? You know, they're supposed to be working. And this is where I'm going to end this video. Because I need you to think, okay, what's going on? What's missing? And I know if you Google it, like, hey, why this VLAN cannot communicate? This computer from this VLAN, from one VLAN, it's not able to communicate with another computer from the same VLAN. Why? And right away on Google, it will tell you why. Okay, so go through that process. And I'm going to walk you through on how to resolve this issue so they both computers can communicate um, back again on uh, the next video. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you on video number five. Thank <laughs> you.